Do not worry. Middle East airlines are falling apart. We're filming the Joseph Mirab documentary this month. Syrians are doing picnics in public and everybody's freaking out. And Zulfi was featured on Hisham Haddad's show. Is he ripping us off? Folks, welcome to a brand new episode of Do Not Worry. I think it's episode number 97. Anyways, we're back. We took a week off. Noo, how's it going? Good. <laughs> I, know. <laughs> I know. I'm trying to mix it up, trying to do something different. Uh, Noo is the only uh, in- intern to join us today. Shifto, we have, I have three of them. I got three of those motherfuckers. We're skipping. We're lucky to get Noo. If one of the other two were showing up, maybe you would have been like, yeah, I can't. You're here? No, next week, Manijay. Next week, Manijay, I'll keep it. You guys all know. Uh, folks, as usual, take a second to like this video. You know, leave a comment. Your engagement is always great. Subscribe to the channel. Become a Do Not Warrior. Help us reach the 10K subscriber mark. Uh, patrons, we got a couple of new patrons. They joined last week. but There was no episode last week, so I didn't get a chance to, t- t- to say thank you. Ljeje, Ljeje, a new blonde patron. I'm saying these names are getting crazier and crazier. And Melting Around, a returning superhero mm-hmm. patron. So thank you, Melting Around, for coming back and supporting us. Uh, we really appreciate you. Uh, we got some amazing blonde patrons that I just want to shout out, like Jad Sabir, Sarah M, Mo K, uh, Joe Badur, Ahmad M, Hassan Rida, and Lo Josh. And amazing superhero patrons like Adrian N, Nadim Rayib, and Ryan Nobulsi. And... Danny Karam, why not? And got your patrons, Jessica and Rifat Fakih and Burgery, the best burgers in Tripoli. Uh, so if you guys would like to support us on Patreon, make sure I can pay the interns. Make sure we can fund the Joseph Merab documentary that is happening this month. Uh, subscribe to our Patreon. We really appreciate you. And just as a quick reminder, don't forget to buy our stirred, not shaken bottle. Nuh, please, with the display. Uh, look at that beautiful, lovely bottle right there. Uh, it is made of gin. Cranberries, mixed berries, <laughs> uh, passion fruit. We, we made a little commercial, actually, in Nadim and myself. I don't want to play it because it's uh, copyright. But beautiful bottle. Okay, you can order it directly off of uh, Stirred Not Shaken's Instagram page. You can get it on Toters. You can get it at Spinney's. But I highly recommend you order it directly from them on Instagram because daddy gets to keep a lot more money that way. I ain't going to lie to you guys. And every bottle you buy helps support the podcast. Okay, Nadim still doesn't know, but the first hundred dollars is going straight to Nadim. like Nadim for bringing this opportunity over to us. You guys will get the rest. Oh, the the video you guys did is great. You liked it. I thank, loved it. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> it didn't take that long. We're quick. We have good ideas. Hey, we're talented people. I'm Anyways, on to uh, the episode. Uh, you guys might notice that I got a haircut. Topic number one. Just. Finally. <laughs> just the, yeah, I know. Whatever the fuck was going on, I don't know what it was. I don't even know what to call it. You know what I'm saying? It was weird, but it's gone. Khalas, I feel so much better. I don't know why. I don't know what I was waiting to, to, to discover with it. <laughs> you know, I was like, I just didn't want to cut it. I was like, maybe if it gets to here. <laughs> waiting for something to happen. But like, what am I going to do with it when it got to here? I had never figured it out. This is so much better. So, uh, that's, no, thank you. Thank you. Topic number one, that's over. Huh? <laughs> we, got, we have a lot of topics, folks. Uh, we got a, we jammed two episodes together. Jumatin worth of topics. Eh? Yeah, so it's, it's not bad, you know. Ribs, quick rib update, folks. Uh, the last time we spoke, I had a bruised rib. Someone corrected me. They said, I forgot what the correct word is. I'm sticking to Arushi. It's the best word. Uh, I... I only, look, I, overall, I took 12 days off of boxing, and I was back, so by, from by last week, I was back. It hurt a little bit, whatever, I worked through the pain, anything that was way too painful, Mamilta, best fuck it, back to boxing, it was way too boring, honestly. Like I said, boxing is the best thing I did in years, best decision I made, so to, after get, doing it for two months straight, and then sitting at home for fucking 10 days, I was going crazy, so uh, I went back after 12 days, by now I barely feel anything, I can box very comfortably, Khalas, I'm back to almost 100%. Uh, yeah, love it. By the way, this Saturday, I'm going to go to the boxing, second division. 
رايح احضر الشبيب عندنا بالجيم they're competing عندنا بيدروس عندنا الشبيب good luck to all the guys عندنا big george they're all fighting uh, انا يمكن نصور كمان they're like عندك شي حدا we might need to film I'm like I know someone who can film this and you know it's Saturday they're busy I'm like I can film I have some cameras so I might be ringside <laughs> getting all the action from up close I like انه خلص فتت بالكوميونيتي yeah, yeah, you're خلص. not just boxing انه خلص you're لا لا نحن صرنا بوكسينج بوكسينج يعني على اصول ارقوشي Yeah, yeah, no, no, I love, I love all the dudes. It's fun. Well, I want to, like, I want to see what it's like uh, being at a tournament, mm. logistics, in case of the Nami influencer boxing moment. But uh, I'm trying to, like, I'm going to watch the people fight because Kamena, l- training and learning technique is so different than being in the ring and fighting. And even sparring at your gym is so different than fighting on, like, fight night. You got, you're nervous, you, you have a crowd. I'm not going to be one but I know. It's more, it's different, you know, it's a more stressful <laughs> scenario. So All six boxers in the room. All six boxers, <laughs> you know, and me with my camera. <laughs> I'll give you guys updates. So we'll follow me on Instagram for live coverage of the Butulit <laughs> Lebanon boxing. I'm not, I'm not making fun. This is actually, I'm very excited to go, okay? And like, I'm too much of a, of a puss puss to, to compete. Plus, so I literally get murdered. I'll think about it though. I would compete as a, if, uh, you know. Anyways, our cocktail, the folks, we just talked about our cocktail. Well, uh, we just, I, as I said last week or two weeks ago, you know, whoever takes photos and tags us, we are going to give you guys a shout out. So let's just take a couple of seconds of, of, of uh, highlighting all the amazing people who took the time to order our bottle. A lot of you guys actually ordered it in Dubai because stirred not shaken. They don't always send to Dubai, but every now and then they make like special shipments to Dubai. Like four of you guys got like bottles in Dubai. It's amazing. I'm going to start. I think that Rawad Khazan enjoying our Do Not Worry bottle. Thank you so much. Lovely looking people. We have friend and patron, Steph23.7. She said, I'm not much of a drinker, but I had some good echo about this one. Well, thank you, Steph. Thank you so much for buying our bottle. We love you. Uh, we have AK Rita, a friend of mine. Uh, f- uh, she follows me on Instagram. I follow her. She went all out with these fucking photos. Look at this, man. And she bought a lot of these comics that you see in the background from the comic stash, uh, yours truly. So she's so supportive. Look how awesome that is. That's such a nice, tasteful photo. She says, if you haven't tried, if you haven't yet, you have to try the Do Not Worry X Stirred Not Shaken bottle. Here's another photo that she ordered a whole bunch of bottles. She got two of our bottles. And uh, and I think she's in Dubai, if I'm not mistaken. So she's one of the awesome people who ordered it cool. in Dubai. She got a whole bunch of bottles. So Rita, we hope you enjoy them. Thank you for supporting the show. We love you. We have Mazen Mur. Uh, very nice photo. Got himself a bottle. Mazen, thank you so much for supporting us. We love you. <laughs> I know. Even when, even when you're done with a drink, folks, you can the bottle can double as a candle holder, a vase, whatever you want. You can recycle it. Evil Fork. Kamena got himself two bottles. Look at that. Kamena, very generous again. We love you guys so much. Thank you for the support. Uh, music by Mags. Uh, love they love and everybody's been loving the drink. Everybody like Sah, by the way. Yeah, they're sending uh, like stirred not shaken messages like we're loving the cocktail. It's one of the best drinks we've had. So I'm like not only are you guys buying it to support us, thank you, but you're also liking it, which is important. Like I want you guys to enjoy what you're buying, you know. Uh, and here we have obviously Nu our VIP uh, with the <laughs> curtains that you know and love right behind her. Uh, bravo, bravo. And not only did regular people salt of the earth. You know, <laughs> blue collared workers buy our bottle. Peasants. We, <laughs> sure. Peasants. Peasants. Well, come on. I, 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 I didn't say it. I wasn't going to say peasants. You said it. We also sent it to some VIPs. Folks. Mali, I can say it because I'm not the peasants. <laughs> You're in the pe- you, you are in the peasant file. We sent it to some non peasants, VIPs, uh, some friends of the show, and people who you would not expect to be friends of the show. Anna, our good friend Annie Stabit, Lebanon's favorite film critic. Anis loves Kilshi Nerdy Uma Bait. Nerdy Uma. By the way, I ran into Anis at the screening of Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm not Guardians of the Galaxy, but sure. Shifna Al Anis. Anna, come in, a good friend of the show. Karen's Cravings. Karen is probably like the most chill and casual, like food influencer, I would say. She is. She's a normal person. She's a normal person. She's a normal person who happens to create content on social media. Hello. She has a couple of videos that will show you, come in. We got Explorer Nico, folks. Used to be an enemy of the show. We're now best friends, he and I. بحضر هذيك المرة بودكاست على اليوتيوب اسمه Do Not Worry. وقال صار عندهم درينك. هلا شو لفت لي نظري 
في جن فيو بيريز فيو كرانبيري بس فيو باشن فروت انا غرامي الباشن فروت مع درينكس باشن فروت الا اربابه يعني خلينا نشوف شو عاملين اذا بتطلبوا من البيج بيطلع لكم فيري نايس فيو كبيات طلبتها من البيج ام لايك طلب طلب من هيز هايلايتنج ذا امبورتنت ثينج طلبوا من البيج خينا انا اي لاف ذس فيديو بيكوز هي واز لايك او ان ذا فيو واز بيوتيفول اي دونت نو وير هيز فيلمينج ذس هيز ان لايك سم farm in a mountain <laughs> بنص ال looks beautiful and he's like tlubuwa min al page bravo you explore nico very nice guy and i take everything bad i ever said he is full of charisma what a charismatic man <laughs> how could i ever say that he had no charisma karen made some videos coming and now she dropped a photo she made let's watch karen's videos shoof shoof from al our queen jayen la and al yom rafqati wa rah naamil qada a hal drink hada wasalna min an stirred not shaken amlin collaboration ma do not worry I love this podcast. كتير بفشو لي خلقي وكتير بحب التيم. فهيدا الدرينك عبارة عن جين بيري بلاند كرانبيري وباشن فروت بينجح من هلا لأنه هول كلهم بحبهم بدرينكس. Perfectly explained. بحب القصص الساور وهيك بحب القصص السويت لأنه ولد. <laughs> Agreed. Who who enjoy? Uh, do you like sour drinks? And I'm not a fan to be honest. Uh, ما عندي مشكلة. بس انه نوت ماي فيفرت. أنا بفضل السويت. إذا عبالكم تشجعون هذا هو الأكاونت فوتوا على الأكاونت على اللينك وفي كذا أوبشن لا أنتوا تطلبوا من عندن. وبعد one more video two weren't enough. It's sweet. طيبة. طيبة. You heard it. Her friend or cousin. We don't know who that is in the background, folks. If you know, اكتبوا لنا بالكومنتس. Anna Reem Khouri, she was, I think, runner-up in Miss Liban. She used to be my neighbor in Jaitay. Okay, in the heart, Reem Khouri, she is Miss Liban. Number one Miss Liban for all time, folks. Mafi. This is what she made. She made a very cute little video. We had to send her a bottle. Oh, oh, oh. Quick, mute this, mute this. Bam, beautiful, beautiful and tasteful. Reem Khouri, thank you. The greatest Miss Lebanon to ever... exist our miss lebanon our miss lebanon miss lebanon be lubna and our boy tony eli kanan uh, one of the funniest dudes be lebanon uh made a quick little video first he has a, a picture tonight is sponsored by do not worry x stirred not shake yes yes tony ah tony al chou <laughs> he's emptying it down the drain, folks, at my mahabba. But then he's like, jokes aside, it's my favorite new drink. Habib Naltoni, Khayna, Khayna. Thank you to all these lovely, lovely people for, for getting our bottle, for sharing it online. You know what I mean? It's, it's very, very kind, very generous. We, we really appreciate it. So if you guys want to order a bottle, uh, do so on Stirred Not Shaken's official Instagram page and support this podcast in the process. I don't want any conspiracies of why is Anthony not drinking? Thank Does you. Anthony not like to drink? Ana Liam can ande boxing, okay? When I worked out, so I don't drink any liquor after working out because I heard like the, it's like not good for muscle growth and stuff. I heard you can have like one beer after a workout, so that's kind of my rule. So no drinking for Papa. But no, you may enjoy your drink, folks. Uh, after about a year of delays and after many promises, the time has finally come. To film the Joseph Merab documentary, folks. Finally, after one year, we're going to film it this month on May 26th, 27th, and 28th. Uh, so we're going to be a three-person crew. It's going to be myself, Nadim, and uh, his friend who does audio. His name is Antoine. Thank you for joining the team, Antoine. And we're going to need the, some of the interns. You and Elijah are both going to have to do at least one day of filming each as a secondary camera. Uh, you got to be on set. You got to get the on set experience. I did with Joseph Shada. The second one. But I had a CV that you worked on. I had a CV that you worked on. I worked on the Joseph Shada and Mirab, Joseph Mirab documentary. These are going to be your career highlights. 20 years later, you're not going to remember any of the sure. graphic design projects you did. But you're going to remember these two documentaries. I can guarantee you that. I can guarantee you that. Bad nice. So we're going to do it. I'm going to spend two nights there. Like I said, I'm going to sleep. Not with Joseph Merab. In Joseph Merab's house. Okay. Uh, it's going to be crazy. I'm kind of... Uh, by the way, let me do know. In case someone doesn't know who Joseph Merab is. I know it's been so long. <laughs> Everyone knows who he is. I know. I know. It's been, I haven't spoken about him in so long. And like... Anna, I've, I've 
sort of resisted showing Joseph Menab content because like I'm like I want to save all of this for the documentary. But here's a quick reminder. Dude, our boy's crazy, man. Oh. Our boy's nuts. And we got this one. This is crazy. This is actually very impressive. Look at this. Like someone like him, someone with this talent needs someone isauro, you know, we need some HD high quality Joseph Meraib content. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what we're gonna kinda try to deliver. Another experience. We're gonna get to know Joseph Meraib. I'm gonna learn from him. He's gonna teach me kung fu, ping pong, all these crazy tricks that he does, the towel stuff, darts, shuma betkun, the comments. What do you want Joseph Meraib to teach me? We are going to learn. Okay, I got three days with him. Three days, and I'm sleeping there. That's gonna be. I didn't sleep in Joseph Shada's house. I'm sleeping on Joseph Meda. We're doing it. He's in Farshima Baid. I wanna really. I wanna live with him. You know what I'm saying? I'm committing. I'm committing to this. And if you guys wanna support us, and this is Anjad, your final chance to pitch into the Patreon, and the money will go directly into the documentary. It's gonna cost a few hundred dollars. So if you guys would like to help out and get your name in the credits, this is the last period. This is the last chance. You gotta do it now. So. Support us on Patreon, get us over the hump, let us make this documentary, and uh, let's make it the greatest documentary. That it, it might end up being horrible, okay? I'm, I'm worried about it. You can't, it's very hard to predict these things. It's a documentary, there's no script. You know what I mean? There, there are things that I'm hoping to accomplish and things I'm hoping to get on camera, but there's no way to, to guarantee it. We might go there and get garbage footage for three days, and then I'm like, I just wasted all this time and all this money. But we're gonna do it. When are we shooting? 26, 27, and 28. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm busy. You're busy. <laughs> you ain't busy. <laughs> Muffy, this is. And a weekend come in, yeah. No, AMT, no. in the middle of the week, everybody's got to be free. Yeah, weekend. I'm sleeping there. <laughs> try to. Um, one day you can't handle one day. Ana name, Honike. Fun, quick topic. As you guys know, for the past many weeks, we have talked about our ranking, the podcast ranking. As a joke, obviously, we came to the conclusion that we were ranked fourth or fifth. Then I decided that we're actually ranked number two. So, as you know, none of this is scientific or official. We're just literally looking at like YouTube numbers, subscribers who've used, who are just like farting out <laughs> statistics, who uh, rankings. And we're obviously kidding. There are people who take it too seriously in the comments. They're like, why are you saying that you're the second most popular podcast? Bro, we're kidding. Abimza. You know, we don't take this stuff seriously. But someone who did take it very seriously is Jad Mbarak. Uh, uh, we talked about his podcast. He famously only followed Noor on Instagram. <laughs> Although he said he was a huge fan of the show, but he didn't follow the rest of us. <laughs> the show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so here, here's a clip that someone, two, like two or three people sent me this on Instagram. Uh, so I has subscription base. I think if I'm not wrong, I'm going to open my eyes to this entire group. Who's going to open your eyes, Mean, are you going to just name that person? That we are the fourth best podcast in Lebanon. Wow. Uh, That's big. Uh, wow, bro, we're kidding. We were kidding. None of this is official. I don't know. You might be tenth. You might be fifteenth. Maybe you're second. So it's not. It's not an official statistic. You can start telling your guests. So. أول ثلاثة بودكاست بلبنان هن سردة وجاد غصن ونيلة توينة. So big names. Okay, this is our list, bro. You can't take it. At least give us credit. That who's fifth? Who's fifth? That cool sports podcast, Rabia. It's amazing. <laughs> so. Uh, he didn't even mention us. <laughs> Is he still following you on Instagram? <laughs> no follow? Jad. Zalit Minna in our segment. So this is really funny though, the fact that they're using To be it. fair, Anna, I followed him back, but then fit it his profile shift and he wasn't following any of you guys, so I unfollowed him. <laughs> What's funny is that I was watching the Sajas uh, Riyadh game like, over the hello, the last couple of days can feel much like in Bayrah or Abn Bayrah. Uh I was I was I've been around Coach Hassan Sarkis, I've been around Elim Shantaf, Shabib, I've seen them. 
I've been around انا الحكمه بدمي خيي <تصفيق> شفتوا عم بيلعبوا I was مع السجست انا عرفت انه جاد مبارك هو از لايك ذا اسيستنت كوتش تبع السجست قلبت مع الرياض برو ان رياض وان That was so fucking funny I'm like oh wait that's جاد شفتوا عم يتمشى I'm like ah my whole life انا مع الحكمه هلا صرنا مع رياض خيي هيك عم فينا ولو بس هي they won the other I think won the first two games انا خلص يعني I've had to switch allegiance after 32 years ولو يا جاد ما بتعمل لي فولو على الانستا هيك هيك حدا اللي جيفز يو كومبلمنت دغري يلا فولكس جارديانز اوف ذا جالكسي فوليوم 3 كيم اوت لاست ويك اي ونت اند اي واتشد ات اي كوايت انجويد ات هاف ديد يو واتش ات نو نوت يت ار يو بلانينغ اون واتشينغ ات اي ام ويتينغ تو انزل اون ديزني بلس او ريلي اي ريكومند واتش ات ان ثيتر اتس ا فيري بريتي موفي It's uh, Mom, I'm really not enjoying cinema experience anymore. Oh, well, that's why you gotta go. Like, uh, um, you have a job. And I'm going to go to the 2 p.m. Uh, in the middle of the week. So, like, if you're going on a weekend, yeah, annoying. yeah. It's very annoying. It sucks, I'm sure. Well, I mean, I would recommend watching it in theaters just because there's spoilers that you might want to avoid. It's a, it's a very emotional movie. And I loved it, folks, personally. But I saw this tweet that was very funny. Uh, of like people going like the MCU is finally over we're free and you have this kid breaking away from the the chains that have been holding him as like a slave to the <laughs> MCU but I kind of I gotta say I kind of relate to this like I loved Guardians of the Galaxy I actually love the trilogy I think James Gunn is like probably the best filmmaker in the, the Marvel Cinematic Universe and I feel like these movies feel very unique they're stylish they have his own like There's a unique director's vision in each of these movies, you know what I mean? James Gunn has a very signature style from the music to the visuals to the humor. So his movies feel very unique. Every other almost MCU movie is like this generic thing made by some random director. It could have been directed by anyone. You can't really tell. There's no personality or style in any of them. They're just all like factory produced. And the fact that we just got the last James Gunn movie, the last Guardians of the Galaxy movie, at least this team with these characters that we like, Rocket and Groot and Star-Lord and Gamora and all of that, I kind of feel like I never want to watch another MCU movie ever again, especially when you look at the list of what's coming soon, like The Marvels. <laughs> like, <laughs> Thunderbolts, that looks horrible. Captain America 4, New World Order, but there's like an Israeli superhero in it called Sabra, so it's not even going to come out, uh, there's just all these shitty movies with B-level characters that no one cares about. And the movies are getting more and more mediocre and the se- all the shows are getting shittier. And like none of them are really bad. They're just all super mediocre. Like I kind of wish Marvel did something really horrible and disgusting. Like make me feel something. Let me walk out <laughs> of a theater at least hating the movie, being like disgusted by it. It's just always like meh, average. Like Ant-Man 3 was the closest to like, oh fuck, this is shit in a while, you know? But so no, still, it's still watchable. Mabarif. I think I'm done with the MCU, man. I think I'm, all these shows that they're announcing, none of them interest me. Kang the Conqueror, that is beating women. Ooh, Jonathan Majors is like probably might go to jail for a year, so he's not going to be Kang anymore. So all of this shit that they've been planning, who Kang, who Kang, they're either going to have to dump it in the trash or recast them. So already, like, they ate shit with that very early on. I think I'm happy. And I already got to see Spider-Man No Way Home. I got to see Tobey Maguire come back. Like... I know that to me was the end, honestly. And the end game already ended. Yeah, nothing can top that. Nothing can top Toby, Toby and Andrew Garfield coming back. Like, end game closed off the MCU beautifully. I can on a no way home gave me my personal closure seeing Toby come back. And now, you know, the, the best trilogy in the MCU is closed with Guardians. I really don't need, like, I'll watch him, but no, خلاص, I don't give a fuck anymore. I'm not excited about it. I'm watch, I'll watch him, I guess, out of obligation, but. I might even I might not even watch all of them like I don't know but I agree with this kid I'm free خلاص it's done it's over صح و everything uh, is becoming like so intertwined like is that you miss a series ما حد تفهم هالكاركتر من وين اجى بموفي تاني ما خصه that's the biggest problem right like now like you you're losing track و honestly at this point انا بطلت عم بفهم شيء Yep, that, that, that's the biggest problem honestly with the with the MCU is that they've now made the TV shows like required homework Like if you uh, walk into want uh, to uh, Doctor Strange 2, ma kent hadir one division, you're fucked. Ma fimchi. Hal the Marvels is a man like hadir one division because one of the characters was introduced in one division, and the other character, Miss Marvel, had her own show, Miss Marvel. If you haven't watched these two shows, you're gonna be behind on on the Marvels. Like, 
You have 12 hours of homework to do before watching a fucking movie. People are going to lose track. They're going to lose interest. I don't know. Like when Avengers 1 came out in 2012, I made my parents watch it. Like my mom and my dad who don't watch these kinds of movies at all, they were able to follow it. Oh, okay. Thor, Captain America, Seven. Hulk, and Iron Man are going to work together. Now it's like you got these 12 characters from this Disney Plus show where this and like time travel, multiverse. It's like, what the fuck is happening? And I'm a comic book nerd. I can keep up. I can catch up. Enough for me, it's not a problem. That's for everyone else. Yeah, and it, more and more, you're going to see the general movie-going audience fall away from the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and it's only going to be the hardcore nerds left that are going to these things. But all the casuals, people like Nuhu, who maybe you're not that into the comics or the lore and all that shit, you just like watching the movies. Yeah. Now you're like, oh, I have to watch these seven shows so I can understand this fucking no, movie? No, I tried, but I started Miss Marvel, and I didn't have to. Yeah, Miss Marvel started out, it's, I like... Uh, it's it's very time consuming. It is. It is. hardcore fan, It is. And that's kind of what happened in the comic books too. Like comics would get more and more convoluted. You had, if you wanted to follow like a big crossover story, you had to buy all these other side comics. And if you didn't read the side comics, you weren't getting the full story and people stopped buying comics. So they're making the same mistake in the movies, which is crazy. But anyways, I just wanted to, just because this photo is hilarious. Like the MCU is over. And I kind of agree. I kind of agree. But so no, you're going to love Guardians 3. I highly recommend it. It is an amazing, amazing, beautiful end to the Guardians trilogy. So we'll definitely check it out. Uh, something else that happened like a few days ago, just like a couple days. I don't know. I don't give a fuck about this at all. The, the coronation of King Charles, right? Is that what it's called? The coronation? Mm -hmm. He's now, when did that happen? Like Two days ago. Two days ago. Uh, you're watching this on Thursday, so four days ago. He's now the king. Of England, I guess. But this was this picture was trending on Twitter. And I just want to talk about this for a second. What the fuck is going on with this dude's fingers? And that middle finger in particular. Like, you know what I mean? It looks like it needs to be uh, it blurred out. Like, it looks like it's not something we should be looking at. <laughs> and there's this other photo of him here. This was taken a few months ago. Sausage fingers. Like, look at his fingers, dude. They're literally sausage fingers. And I love the side-by-side -side here with literal sausages. Like... It's a sign of kidney disease. He's got kidney disease? Oh, man. Look at, look at that ring. Look at his the finger and like the, 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 the ring. It's like the ring's going to pop off. Salim uh, Takia King Charles. That's like, man, that, like his mom really made him fucking wait till he's like 90 something to become king. Right. Why are you busted? Matter, bro. Khalas, just give it to your son. Poor fucking guy. <laughs> look at his fingers. Look, look at poor man's fingers. How can he lift anything? He can't even sign shit. Man, this is weird. Just the, that, that, that first photo. What's up with that middle finger, bro? <laughs> the fuck? And he's like, what is he doing to that ring? Just like touching it? Like, you know what? It's, the whole thing is disturbing. It's too sexual for some fucking reason. <laughs> My body is grossing me out. I fucking hate all the king and queen. Us and the fucking, uh, what are they called? The royals. The royals. Mm -hmm. All right, folks. Now we're going to move into a, a new section. A uh, bunch of random shit, okay? Just funny TikToks that we gathered over two weeks. <laughs> Forgive us, mother's not much rhyme or reason. I spend to a lot of time on TikTok. So yeah, there's the forgive us. Okay, we've got a lot of random shit. Let's enjoy. Clarita Nechle, Koki, our new one of our yeah, she's been around for a while. But we've uh, we've we're diving back in. Honey, she's uh, talking about if you want to send her PR packages. Hello, you halloween. Keep going. Like all online jobs, have a bad lay PR package left on the story. Here to us all my Instagram bio, bio, DM TikTok. Look at that icon. Why did she do the, okay, the hair the tuck video. thing behind the ear? Uh, I, <laughs> honestly, I don't know. I want. I don't know if she's autistic, if she's really like this, if this is all just an act. Her mom is in on it with her now. Like, check it out here. And mom, mom, if I'm she. The twins from The Shining. Yeah, that's true. Mm. Very cottage. Yo, Bush. Yo, Bush. She's got so many gimmicks going on too. Uh, uh, like, she, know, she definitely yeah. knows what she's doing. Like she, 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 like she, she makes a shit ton of money. Oh, crazy man, crazy. Good for her. Good, Good for, for her. her. I don't want to seem uh, jealous or anything, but like us. We're happy for you. Our boy Hassan Farhat, we want him to start making money with lives because this boy, mm -hmm. uh, he's, he's, uh, he's uh, branching off. 
عم بيعمل هلا برجر ريفيوز وفود ريفيوز رح نشوف هلا سم فود ريفيوز باي حسن فتحي اي ود لاف ا برجر انا كب... اذا جوعان فينا نطلب uh, هون از برانشينج اوف بهيدا الفيديو بدي روح على مطعم قالوا لي عنه انه كثير طيب فانا حبيت اني اجربه فاول شيء ضليتني بالتيشيرت البيضاء ولبست فوق قميص ابيض ولبست من تحت وايت شوز مع شورت جينز وهيدي النتيجه ستايلش اي ونت فك وذ جين شورتس بس انه يلا جورتس وهون وصلنا على مطعم لفلوف يلا نفوت نجربه انا طلبت من عندهم لفلوف برجر بتجي عباره عن ويت ذا بان از دبل دبل سايد بيس ودعم وخبار فخلينا نقطعها ونجربها وهون انا دقتها ولاعطيكم رايي اي لاف ذا سلو مو شوت اوف هيم اعملها هلا ليك اي لاف ذا فاكت ذات هيز جيفينج Honest feedback. It's like a lahm midhne. Where do you hear this anymore with the food influencers? They just pay them to say that everything's delicious. Yeah, in all honesty, I found that the lahm midhne is more on Zoom. So I, from my side, I didn't really like it. In all honesty, I wanted to ask for something else. So I asked for a crispy with potato and cheddar and barbecue sauce. And this dish, in all honesty, I liked more. And we finished the food. I liked the crispy more. This is an honest review, Yami. This is what you call integrity. Hey da, this is a man with integrity right there. Hey da influencer, because I'm gonna tell you the opinion of the real person. Yeah, fit the market and buy the local market. Here we have ice cream sage. Today we're going to the mall, so let's see what we're wearing. So, because the price we're in Lebanon is getting up for a long time, it's about to be hot. I wanted to wear this style like this in the middle. So I got a t-shirt and a blue shirt with a denim shirt with a pair of jeans and beige white shoes. So let's see what the result is. Well, our boys looking fly. I prefer this. I know I'm kazder bil mall. Lafatni mahal ismu K Rolls. هذا محل ببيع بوز على الصاج وهيك قصص. فهون طلبنا أنا وخيي عمانجو وعفرز. هون بلش يعمل المانجو. This is the opposite of sage. وهون بلش بالفرز. والحلو بالموضوع إنك ما بتزه أنت وناطر إنك واقف عم تتفرج. وهلا صار وقت نجرب. أول شيء جربت الفريز وللصراحة طيب كتير أما لما جربت المانجو صراحة أطيب كتير أنا عجبتني المانجو كتير عنده وبس هذا كان فيديو اليوم Let's go back just to his face his, his, Look at that his, his ice cream eating face هذا إليجا 54 seconds أنا عجبتني المانجو كتير عنده وبس هذا كان فيديو اليوم I think he brain freeze for a second Hassan, I love his reviews. Anna, I want him to continue down the review. Yeah, give us clothes and give us food reviews. صح. I think that's that's great. The clothes, mommy, careful. Uh, speaking of uh, honest reviews, we can do Fuji Boss. Bish. Super honest. Walla man la transition ya ya no. All right, we got. Uh, palms. Fuji Boss, palms. He shat on this he place. He shat on the place. Ah, walla. Like Fuji Boss, and I'm I'm looking for a replacement for Joy Tasidi. So yeah, we got a. Man, shit, lehem esaw ana wiyek. Bonsoir guys, Barnes Beach House فتح for this season بجونية فرحت أنا ورفيقة تنجربه مثل العادة رح أقول شو طلبنا إذا حبيناه ولا لا مع الأسعار جبنا هيدا بولكينو كراب سالد توز هيوج طعمة عادة سعره 12.75 دولار وهيدا ميكس أبيتايزرز بيجي ثلاثة من كل نوع رح تشوفوا شو في بقلبه بالفيديو وسعره 15.25 دولار هيدا حلومي عصمالية كانت طيبة وهيدا تشيكن عصمالية كانت عادة صراحة مع هيدا البلا بيجي French fries, matches, or the sauce. What's chicken Osmani? I've never heard of this. Is this a thing? Osmani is like the filo dough type stuff, right? Sah. But I thought this was mainly used for desserts or like rice. Sah, but they're using it. Can it add this? Come in, add this. Cut it. Hold the sauce and grab mic, ya foodie boss. This is the plate. The time is three percent. وهيدي فش تمبورا انا حسيتها سمك بس مش انه فش تمبورا كانت طيبه حسيتها سمك بس مش فش تمبورا سي سي خلص وهيدي هيدي لايك دايناميت شيمز صراحه هيدي كانت طيبه سعرها 10.5 دولار هودي جريل جامبو شيمز دعولي نفسي هلا الشيمز كانوا سافا بس ما حبيت انا الفيستو صوص معهم فصرت حط صوصز من الابيتايزرز بليت وكان سافا وسعره 18 دولار يعني هذا المحل حلو اذا بتروحوا مع رفقاتكم تحضروا سان سيت بتاخذوا درينكس مع ناتشوز وهيك بس ما تاكلوا كلف كلفني 200 دولار وما حبيت شيء 
The Blick, I like, I like honest reviews. So I, I guess he, he might have paid for this because I don't think he, they, they paid him to go eat shashahun. You know what I mean? No, they I wouldn't don't do think that. he does that. Ma pheso. He doesn't get paid to go to <laughs> restaurants. You think? Hey, if he's gonna shit on him, you can't. Okay, honey, bachig, ermane. بونسوار جايز لو رحنا انا رفيقتها المحل فتحت جيت بسيتي سنتر اسمه باتشيك كثير بحبه مثل العاده رح كون عم بقول شو طلبنا اذا حبيناهم ولا لا مع الاسعار اتس ان ارمينيان بليس اند ذا بليس از افوردبل هو الفيرسون افوردبل تبع مايريك خلينا نبلش هيدي السوبريك مليون و120 الف كثير طيبه الفتوش كمان كان كثير طيبه 360 بطاطا حره كمان كان كثير طيبه 384 الف فتت كرز لازم تطلبوه عن جد ات واز ذا بيست آه مليون و120 المحمره صراحه كانت عاده 384 الف هود الستكس كانوا بيعقدوا آه 480 آه المقانق كمان كانوا طيبين آه كانت كانت hungry, المنته عندهم كانت بتعقد لازم تطلبوها اكيد هون كانت بتحط اليوغرت مع الصوص طماط والنعناع يابس بالاخير انتو هيك بتاكلوها؟ And I grab each individual so mante and I dip it individually in the sauce and then I dip it What? in the leban and then I pop it in my mouth. What? It's fun. You know, it's like a game. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not just a little bit. No. It's crispy, baby. Crispy. I'm sorry, foodie boss, you're not doing it for me, man. Uh, very long video. But like a sit on man, you gotta make these shorter. Okay, my body, if there's something, you got something, but it's not, you're not there yet. You're not, do not worry material yet. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, that's not everybody's goal. But But man, do gimmick. He has the gimmick, but it's weird, bro. It's very repetitive. You gotta. Fucking mix it up, Shway, bro. Okay, I'll sit up. Make them 30, 40 seconds top. Say the minute to 40 seconds. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. I'm sorry. We're not doing Foodie Boss again until you change and improve. But speaking of uh, changing and improving, the, the horrible <laughs> transition, Mayusha has a new song, folks. Now, Look, I feel bad. Okay? Where she did not change and did not improve. We, 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 we shat all over her I'm a Barbie girl uh, cover. I'm not, we're not going to do that again, okay? Actually, and it, I, I felt like, you know, why? If she's the anti shru you know what I mean? We should be all in on Mayusha. And if there was a shru versus Mayusha boxing match, plus I would want Mayusha to like beat the living shit out of Shru. But I think Shru is fucking psycho and would like murder. Sah, she'd like she would rip out her hair. She would literally like kill her. Like the Hakim's like, Khalas, it's over. And like Shru would like keep biting her ear off and like biting her <laughs> neck or something. Like she'll have blood all over her face and she'll smile. I don't know why I get that vibe. Anyways, back to Mayusha. <laughs> so she did. This is, I think, who, who sings this? SZA? Yeah. Uh, I might kill my ex. Let's. Uh, <laughs> I might kill my ex, not the best idea. His new girlfriend's next. How do I get here? I might kill my ex. I still love him though. Rather be in jail than alone. She's trying to be creative. I'm, I don't want to sit here and shit on people. Luke. She's. She likes to sing. She likes to perform. She, it's a horrible cover. It's horrible. I don't want to be mean. It's just bad. It's not for me. I won't listen to this again. Do you not like it? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Mayusha, best of luck with your covers. Oh, she's got a gimmick. She's coming up with a gimmick. She wants to sing. Zulfi. Folks, our boy, our legend Zulfi. Zulfi has a new hairstyle, folks. Zulfi has a new hairstyle. Look at this. Look at this. It's wild. طلعت لك لا تشبسي بالعروضات المميزة والجديدة تعرف شو يعني عروضات يعني خاربين أكثر من أربعين عرض بلا تشبسي تعرف. Are these natural curls or did you get like a perm? عبيت لها فروشة. Think got a perm? فروش الفحم لا فروش الغاز لا صندوشات المشاوي ولا كل أسعار فروش فحم بتسعمية ألف فروش غاز بسبعمية. إنه نحنا شايفين الزول في بيلبس ال like a bandana kind of he keeps his hair back slicked back. بس I never. Got the sense that they were that curly. <laughs> so I'm guessing he did get a perm. Naiman ya zulfi look. Naiman libin lak. Alf, 
عندها وجبة بلاتش اف سي هي الدراجون البرجرات وجبة دراجون برجر مع بطاطا وصوص وصوص يعني اثنين صوص ب 500000 يا حبيب قلبي اني ويز وي دونت نيد تو لينجر اون ذس فور تو ماتش اي ثينك اي ثينك هي جوت ا لوت اوف بولينج على الفيديو بيكوز اوف هيز هير لان هي هاد ذا كومنتس تيرند اوف عن جد لا يا زلفي انا اي لاف اي اكشلي لايك ذا هير اتس جوست هيك اتس بالعكس اتس نايس اتس انكسبكتد بس سبيكينج اوف زلفي سبيكينج اوف زلفي اجينا سوربريز انا زلفي بعت لي مسج لايك جماعه الماضي بيبعت لي فيديو من هشام حداد شو هشام حداد از لايك ا فيموس لبنيز كوميك هوست اند ستف لايك ذات اكتر وعاملين هو سيجمنت uh, على زلفي هل اي كانت بلاي ات فور يو جايز لانه من كلا كوبي رايت بس انه هيرز ا فيو فوتوز عندكم سو دي جيت ذس جاي هوز بيسيكلي ليتس كول ا سبيد ا سبيد هيز لايك مي بس بومر فيرجن اوف مي هيز ذا اولدر فيرجن اوف انتوني هي كمز اي دونت نو هاو اوفن ميبي ايفري ويك ميبي ايفري فيو ويكس و هي بيسيكلي داز لايك ا تيك توك سيجمنت وير بيحكوا عن تيك توك بيبل ذي ديد ات ا فيو لايك ا فيو مانثس اجو وير ذي توكد اباوت cell phone shops who actually number one sell yeah they're the best cell phone they're the best deal بفتكر عنا or best cell phone shop uh, he won best deal for the show and my offer actually was featured on the musalnes like and by the way انت like did you tell Hisham had that about me لانه عم بيحكونه and i was like i got nothing to do with that bro but so i was like i think someone from Hisham had that show might you know might be a fan of our show and uh, might be uh, contributing some uh, you know some ideas هون هون عندكم هشام يو سي بيكتشر اوف هيم هون زلفي ذير هي از فيتشرد على هشام حداد هون بتشوفوا عندنا ار فريند اوف ذا شو او ماي جاد سيتينج نيكست تو بيسيكلي مي ذا اولد فيرجن اوف مي هلا وات اي فاوند فاني از ذات اي نو فور ا فاكت ذات او ماي جاد فريند اوف ذا شو لافز ذا شو هي ليفز كومنتس هي هي شيرد اور شو هي از بين فيري سبورتيف اكشلي وي ايفن ليفت ا فاني كومنت وانس وير كان اي ابلاي تو كو هوست Uh, DNW. I have eight years of experience co-hosting shows. So as you can tell, uh, he likes the show and even wants to be a part of it. But I think, uh, I think, Jad, you guys uh, were able to recreate my show on your own show. And I don't think you need to come here anymore. And obviously, again, we're, we're, this is all in good fun. But a few months ago, Kamina Zulfi had mentioned to me, he's like, by the way, Hadan min Hisham Haddad hakene I was like, oh, really? I'm going to ask uh, Omar Jad about it. Like, just... Uh, And no, by the way, like Zulfi gave me mission. I wasn't uh, interrogating Omar Jad. I was like, hey, by the way, Zulfi told me that you guys called him. Is that true? And this is what Jad said. He said, huh? Akid, no. Love the episode. And as you can see, me and Jad, we have a good connection. I'm like, awesome. Thanks for watching. I even asked him if he would be down to uh, present a Do Not Worry Award next year. He said, absolutely. So again, nothing but love for Jad. But it's just a little funny because I feel like Zulfi... is very much like our character. Like he's, uh, he's not that popular on TikTok. You know, Maruf, but you know... Plus, like t- them talking about cell phones and cell phone trends. Ah, everybody does it. Everybody, mm. the cell phone thing went crazy. But Zulfi, he did go viral a few times. But I felt like maybe, maybe someone was watching our show and being like, hey, maybe. It's very niche, yeah. It's very niche. Yeah, Zulfi is very niche. And I feel like they're, they're basically doing, do not worry. Do I care? Am I upset? Absolutely not. First of all, Hisham Haddad's audience is much older than ours. Like if someone watches Hisham Haddad, they don't watch our show. It's not like they're a threat to our views or anything like that. I would be upset if it was like a, another little YouTube show or someone that I know that was d- kind of ripping us off. There's just no, uh, like, there's, a, there's no threat coming from here. So it's, a, it's all love. But I'm like, Jad, Hisham, if you guys want to hire a TikTok expert, uh, hire me. Put me on the show. Who's this guy? Get rid of this old man. <laughs> Get rid of the boomer TikTok. Get rid of the boomer guy. He's going to die in like 20 years. And I'll still be around uh, then. My body. But now, are they ripping us off? Look, I don't know. We got, we got no proof. We ain't got no evidence. But we do know that Omar Jad watches our show. And this is Zulfi's response to Hisham Haddad. Hisham Haddad, but you want to talk about the HFC. You want to come and see what you want to do with the HFC. I mean, one of the bombs of the day is tired for you. Why am I a bomb of the day? With two sauces. That's too much cheddar. With two sauces. وصوص كوكتيل واكيد الفرايز بطاطا ما بننسوها ليك ما انا وجبه كامله مكمله ولما نعمل عرض نحن ما بنعمل عرض على السيارات العرض على سعره وجبه بوم تشادر بس ب 5 دولار هيدي الوجبه كامله بس ب 5 دولار وانا اكيد فيني اقول ان اثنين توم وحده سوسيرا وحده كاتشب بس انا بقلب لك اياهم لتا اني ويز وي نوت واتش ذا ثينك بس كنت عم بحكي مع زلفي قلت له خلص هلا نادت عم بيحكوك 
تي في شانلز وام تي في وهيك خلص يو تو بيج تايم فور مي قلت له خلص يعني يو نو اي ام نوت جود انف فور يو اني مور زلفي يو جيتنج يو جيتنج اول ذيز تي في ديلز ولا زلفي سامي ذا سويتست فويس نوت ما شو بعت للزلفي افتر اي تولد ام ذات خلص يعني ناو ذات يو يو هيت ذا بيج ليجز شو بعت بدك فينا وات انسى الموضوع برو انسى انت القصه كلها انت انت كل القصه انطوني لك خلي لي قلبك احلى انطوني والله والله بدنا نقعد قاعده سوا ختم نيوك يا برو لك شو قال شو على التلفزيون انت القصه كلها انطوني وبس لك خي انت ولا خي انت القصه كلها انت اللي بشوفك ان شاء الله باعلى المراتب وانت اللي بشوفك عامل برنامج على التلفزيون ان شاء الله وبطلع معك اضافه انت مقابلة هيك معك انت انطوني على التلفزيون ان شاء الله خلي لي قلبك والله احلى انطوني انت تستاهل كل الخير يا عمري ولك شو هالزلفي شو هالزلفي I just wish that everybody has a Zulfi in their life to give them يعليلون معنوياتهم مثل ما انا بعمل فيي I really hope all of you have a Zulfi in your life every time I get a I feel down and I get a voice note من Zulfi I perk up and I get all happier عن جد ف Zulfi thank you oh my god عم نمزح we love you obviously you're not ripping us off اهلا وسهلا rip us off your boomer audience deserves to see this great entertainment يعني if not عندكم where are they going to get access to this we you know they say uh, imitation is the One of the most sincere forms of uh, flattery, <laughs> you know. For uh, hey, imitate away, take all our characters. But Joseph Merai, not not so Joseph Merai documentary. Hey, that's a little weird. Hey, that's a cool idea. That's a cool idea, Joseph Merai. Quick shout update, folks. This is just super cringe because it's shout with Mario Basile, so it's like an explosion, an, an explosion of cringe. Antkon boomer cringe from uh, yesteryear and uh, modern cringe. Joseph, how about you? How about you? والعاني بالبلاي ويلا كثير تسلينا اليوم بنصحكم كلكم تحضروها في مستربين الليله بالبلاي شو مبسوط شادة؟ اهلا بالفريش ماني اهلا بالفريش ماني هو ناس عم تطلع دافع الطاولة هو مش سوبر عونة أو سوب شيت كمان which we don't give هل ما تقدر تقولوا لي أنا عونة بالكومنتس I don't want to know to keep that yourself anyways this is كتير وبس شادة يعني بيضحك من قلبه يعني بالأودينس وهو قاعد معه يعني كتير مبسوط anyways that's enough جوزيف شادة أنا قلت لكم very random episode this week a little bit of everything I like it هي دي بعتنا إياها نديم he found this girl look أنا بعتها أنت بعتيها the girl at the gym who wants to murder the the هيدا Oh, I remember Nadim bought the Heide. Khalas, you want to take credit for it? Take credit for it. <laughs> Heide, I want to hire this girl as an intern, to be honest with you. Nadim bought it. Nadim? No, no, I think I want to. I want to hire this person because uh, she's horrible at comedy, but uh, no, she, she's very committed. I was doing the workout with all the time, and I didn't see anything other than the gym crush with my wife. I said to her, I have to get out of here. How are you doing? I have to get out of here. ساعة كب الدمبلز عليا ما كان يزبط ولا شي معي كرمال اتخلص منها اخر شي لقيت الحل مناسب كمشتا وخنقتا لفوت ست وهيك واخيرا بيكون صار الي انا بس وكل وحدة بتجرب تاخده منه هيدي اخرتا برو ذس جيرل از سايكو لايك فيري سويت بس انو وير ديد ذس كم فروم انو من I have, no, depth. I have no idea, but like I feel like she would make a great team member because like there's she like would any of you kill for me? No. If I ordered you go kill <laughs> no, this person. No, because you're insane. She would kill for me. <laughs> she would, if I'm like yo. Uh, yeah, she would kill you if you fire her. Leoni, روح اتليلنا ما بعرف. Who 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 do we hate now? مين عنا enemies? If. هلا إذا نحكي حدا بيزعلو بيزعلو منا كمان. روح اقتلي لنا جون ماسيديس يو نو شي وود دو ات اي فيل لايك شي وود هاف نو بروبلم اف ذير واز سم ون كولد ام نوت جست اتس جست راندوم بيرسون هاز شي ميد مور وي نيد تو كيب ان اي اون هير هيد نيكست ويك ليتس سي اف شي هاز مور سكتشز و ليتس سي شي سبيشال دو يو سند ذس بيرسون اي ريمبر يو سندينغ ذس بيرسون تيريزا عائيي تيريزا عائيي Okay, tell us a little bit about her. Uh, what does she do again? I forgot. Um, she's a food blogger. <laughs> food blogger? But, uh, and, um, 
يا الله بيبل ويل كوم ات مي اجين بس فيري ضايعه اوكي ضايعه فود بلوجر اوكي اجين نور از فروم ا ضايعه صح ايه كانت شيز فروم ا ضايعه بس وات سبيشال اباوت هير فيديوز انه قديت هير انكت اوكي يلا ليتس سي ذا فيرست وان تشيكن هاي هيا حلوين كيفكم غدينا لليوم اول شي من البرج بالصلاه صحتين هوز ذات؟ هير داد اه عم يبرموا الكاميرا وات سابينغ ذا كاميرا لا لا ما حد تقشع شي ما حد تشوف شي صحتين يا داد والغدا عندي دجاج بطاطا مشويه وعندنا هون جزر مشوي وعندنا توم وعندنا حمص وكبيس والبابا عم ياكل معكرونه صحتين مع خس صحتين يا بابا عندنا دجاج والثوم شي هاز ا لوت اوف فولورز اه واز غونا اسك مع كبيس This is like the weirdest ASMR ever, then. No. Ekle liom, kel shi ekle. Eh, that's her catchphrase. Ekle, ekle, kel shi ekle. Anna, I'm into the dad eating without teeth. He's got a toothless thing going, and I love watching toothless people eating because they're like, it's cute, it's adorable. Kel shi taib liom, wa hayda kan qadena la liom. Shalla kan habbatu al video, anto shud qadatu liom. Sahtan. Yo, she's great, man. I love this because yeah, she's so genuine. Like, there's no, there's a, there is a gimmick, but it's like she doesn't know there's a gimmick. She's just doing this out of the kindness of her heart. Four seconds. Four seconds. Four seconds. Good tip. كثير كثير طيبة عم جربوا بنصحكم تجربوها بدكم سم لايك رانر اون ذا سايد او ذا اي ميد ا نيو ون اكل عن جد اكل هون عندنا هالنتيجة تبع الكفتة والبطاطا ورز هيدا مش هيدا ذود باشا كأنه مش كفتة وبطاطا أمبلا لا I guess there are pieces بس أنا فكرتها بالفرن يا تريزا أكلة كثير طيبة أكلة قالي أكلة ده أنت هل ده أنت زبطتها أكلة أكلة عبالي كفتة وبطاطا صار وهيدا كان غدانا لليوم ان شاء الله تكون حبيتوا الفيديو خلونا انتو شو تغدتوا اليوم والف صحة للجميع هون في ملكة طاووق ناو هل هيدا حكي هيدا حكي طلبنا من عند ملكة طاووق هون عنا برجر على دجاج كثير طيب الف صحة وعنا هون طاووق هير مام هيلبس هير فيلم اتس فيري كيوت اوه Okay, Sarah, Sarah. Mm -hmm. We'll be, we'll be. What's that in Mick Shway? I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. I'm going to be able to do this. I'm going to be able to do this, you know? But bravo, bravo. Hey, this is the art shack. هاي هيا حلوين كيفكم ان شاء الله منيح اليوم وصل لي جيفت من عند ذا ارت شيك راح راح نفتحها سوا ذا ارت شيك اوكي راح احط لكم الصفحه الصفحه تبع تيك توك وتبع الانستا وصل لي ثلاث بوستر هالاولى وهالثانيه وهالثالثه كثير حلوين I got it. The vase poster, I get it. Hadik is just a printed Instagram photo, or like, they will swear on Facebook with Tabaoua. Hadik is a collage of photos. Okay.
There's nothing special about these things. The art shack coming can be bought in the cookie package. Ah, come in. We are going to be bought in the art shack. Well, this picture, I and my mother. Don't buy it. 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 كمان وصلنا هيدا الباك معهم كثير مهضوم والوانه كثير حلوه كمان الباك حلو باما التوت باك هيك على الخفيف وكمان وصلنا هيدا الماج تبعوه تيك توك ماج كثير مهضوم مكتوب على اسمي اه وتيك تيك توك عن جد لوكا ستمايز واللي واللي بياخذ اغراض من عندهم وبيجي من قبلي بيضطروا 15% ديسكاونت كمان ميرسي كثير حبيتهم وهذا كان الفيديو تبعونا لليوم ان شاء الله تكون حبيتوا الفيديو راح احط لكم الصفحه تبعونا تبعتي خلص بكفي شي نيدز تو بي بروتكتد ات اول كوست ذو ذس جيرل شي سو شي سوتش ا سويت هارت عن جد اي ريلي لايك هير وان مور زاتر كريسبس بونجور يا حلوين بونجور كيفكم ان شاء الله منيح بدكم تتروقوا او مش عارفين شو بدكم تتروقوا اليوم انا لقيت لكم الحل كملوا الفيديو بتجيبوا ابعد خبز oh, او حسب الكميه اللي بدكم تعملوها وبتجفوا الخبز بوس. انت your videos are now a uh, minute 40, 40 seconds هي كمان بس hers are fun and captivating انت I'm losing interest Gotta remix that formula. So it's not about the length. Your videos can be long, but they gotta be engaging. وهلا She's too sweet, man. Good content. Yeah. I'm on but I feel her videos went went out to laugh. But her smile, like I really hope her comment section isn't mafi bullying or something. Well, I guess it's very. You can understand. This is wholesome. Very wholesome. Okay. And they love her parents. She's so she's young, man. Hold on. She's just she's being so genuine. She's. Was shy. That's like the perfect breakfast. ولك صحتين صحتين بس بيك ما في كلهم هول you're gonna hurt him حرام poor guy مسافكم جربوه I'm not making fun of he's adorable we're all gonna be toothless one day once she gets that TikTok money though بتركب له veneers هكذا تبيئتها لليوم شاء الله تكون حبيت الفيديو وخبرونا أنت شو تربط اليوم وجربوا هالطريقة على التربية وعن جد أنا I feel bad now about the dad joke. I'm apologizing again. Minhalla, don't come at me. I'm sorry. I feel if bad. If anyone is suing us, DM Anthony. <laughs> yeah, if is a fi lawsuit, DM. I'm gonna get you a lawsuit. Okay, but I'm not making fun of anybody. Okay, guys, we're yeah, and we're we're moving, we're moving on the this episode. The Ryan Habshi. I don't know who the, who's the, who this guy is. Okay. Um, Ryan came out with Jamal. But I don't know him personally. Okay. But so he became like a fitness uh, influencer. Fitness, in, I think. Yeah, I think uh, Nadim sent us this. Uh, eh. So uh, Ryan, my bad fuck. You're not a. Yeah, you're not an influencer technically. Does he have a lot of followers? I'm not it's like sure. a micro, micro, micro influencer. But so no, this was he was talking about masturbating and stuff while running. Let's just listen. It's, yeah, some kind of like alpha male type thing. Let's see. Okay, so Honey shared eight hours sleep plus no sugar plus no alcohol plus hydration plus heavy lifting plus high protein diet plus salt plus daily sun plus solid purpose plus no news plus meditation equals the closest you'll be to superhuman. Okay, so he's that kind of guy. Take ice baths, grind, work hard, etc. When I felt bad in here, I back feel superhuman days, when I drink. I used yeah. to smoke weed, man. Now we run. Now we run. Now we run. Now we run. Oh, don't you know? I was on the side of the bed. I was this close to masturbate, even though the deal has been sealed. I decided to fucking do 30 days, no masturbation, no nothing. I was this close. You know what? We go for a run. I take control of my own mind. I do, man. 
So you guys heard him. He said he was this close to wanking, to whacking off. He was this close to masturbating, but he decided no. He went for a run instead, and he decided to do a 30-day no masturbating. So kind of like a sober October type thing, or what was it? Uh, I just, um, no, not November. No, not November. <laughs> yeah, no, not I November. I sent you something. Hello, uh, what's up? He failed the, the challenge. He failed no, not November? Mm-hmm. He shared his story. Monk mode on, the perfect start for a good day. I fucked up in the no fab challenge yesterday. Ups and downs, try and fail, but we're humans, it's okay. Every day is a great opportunity to reach the best version of yourself. I'm not looking back, that's what I'm trying to do. Try with me, take control of your life. Bro, why are you talking about <laughs> masturbating <laughs> so <laughs> Why are you talking so much about masturbating on Instagram, bro? First of all, keep it to yourself. Tanyan, if you really want to jerk off, instead of going for a run, just wank, bro. Get it done with, get it over with. Get it out. It's healthy. You know what I mean? That's what they say, at least. Uh, yeah, you, it is healthy. You got to masturbate every now and then, bro. Don't keep that shit in. Shoot. Why are you torturing yourself? Enjoy life, bro. I do it. I take control of my own life. Cold shower. I would rather die than take a cold shower. Wake up, good day. That's, that's, what, that's the whole alpha sort of grind mindset. Like they, they do... Sleep. They force themselves to do ice baths in the morning. Like normally ice baths, you do them if you are if you work out a lot and you want to recover the next day. So some of these people are just doing ice baths in the morning just to like torture themselves. But fam, it's good and it makes you feel well. But you know, there's, there's another side to life where it's fun and it's, uh, it's comforting. It's just funny. They've got like this serious like uh, uh, conspiracy music. <laughs> I was about to masturbate. Good for you, bro. I mean, hey, look. I'm glad that you failed no fap November, but come in and like, I don't know, it's weird, like someone following up on your jerk off journey on Instagram. <laughs> Check my stories for more. He masturbated. <laughs> I wank today, folks. <laughs> like, keep it to yourself, Khalas. Just fucking, who needs to know this? Leaf, just stop, stop trying to encourage young people to like, young kids, if you want to jerk off, jerk off, okay? Please don't sue us, come in. That's my advice. I mean, who, who, why would he sue us? Um, uh, Jad Mbarak is going to sue us. He's the next lawsuit. Uh, Dr. Food. Ya Allah. <laughs> Dr. Food and Shru have new products again. Okay, let's start with doc- with the Shru sticks. I don't know, I'm not sure I want to watch the Dr. Food video. It's too long. Check this out, folks. It's like Sun- the sunshine chips, guys. The hair dye is like melting on her skin. Bro, Harley Quinn... Uh, Listen to like a legit cycle. Cool Allegedly. Sticks. Sticks. Yeah. 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 Ketchup. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah, maybe. Uh, yes, I, I'm a chips fan, so... I don't know if I want to try their shit anymore, because this is what they do. They release it, people buy it initially in that first wave to review it on TikTok and stuff, and they're making money, man. I've already given them all a whole bunch of money. <laughs> all your money. They've already, <laughs> yeah, they have my money already. <laughs> you know what I mean? We have to try these, and uh, I don't know I boxes for some fucking reason. So, I don't know if I want to give them more money. Ooh. I'm never eating one of those ever again. Anna Kamen, I'm not buying anymore. We have the three left <laughs> that are uh, without the nutrition facts. We're keeping them as a collection. Let's have them like a glass. Like a you want to put them in glass? Plexiglass? And how do you get a little memorabilia? Yeah, let's watch this Kamen. A flio? Should we flio? Okay, send me context. So for the past like three, four months, uh, every single video... هن بينزلو بيعملوا كومنتس فليو بس هيك فليو 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 بيجاوبوا عن بعضهم مثلا دكتور فود ريبلايز تو هير كومنت اذا كتبت فليو بيكتب لها فليو سو نو وان نيو وات ذا فاك فليو واز انتل ذس فيديو هلا سمون بيجي بيقول لي ذاتس جينيوس ماركتينغ يا رب شو شو صار العالم بيبل جو تو كولج اند يونيفرستي اند شيت وبيعرفوا بيكتبوا فليو بالكومنتس ذاتس ذا فيوتشر اوف ادفرتايزنج فولكس او ماي جاد اوكي رحنا جبنا لكم كميات بندق لنعملكم اغرب واطيب نوع شوكولا بالعالم 100 كيلو بندق شو سايقين؟ اول شيء بنعمل بندق مظبوط 
جبنالكم افخم انواع البندق من تركيا هيك ما حد تركيا تركيا از نون فور هيزل نتس وهلا مرحله الخلط موست اوف ذا وورد سبلاي اوف هيزل نت بيجي من تركيا بنحط لهم 20 كيلو كاكاو 30 كيلو حليب 10 كيلو سكر زيت نباتي وما بننسى رشه المحبه لستين الصويا نخلطهم لمدة 24 ساعة مع بعض رشة المحبة أو رشة الـ Preservatives المزيد بعد 24 ساعة ماسك مع بعض بشكل صحيح وعطينا هذا الفيديو What is this? What color is this? Well, I'm going to put it on the top. The flio is very pale for chocolate spread. It is, is it chocolate or is it like 50, 50 chocolate, 50 hazelnut or something? No, I love 11% hazelnut. This looks disgusting, bro. Why the low neighbor? I would never try this. I would never buy one of these. It's so big. I'm gonna buy it just to have a sandwich that Kimba is bit it. What the fuck? Flu. packages is so unprofessional, bro. الفليو شو يعني فليو؟ فليو This is fucking crazy man Anyways we're not trying these Not even the sticks ولا شي خلص We're done giving them our money They've gotten enough بكف Syrians Folks This topic has been يعني شو بدنا نقلكن يعني Lebanon, man, no tie is Syria. Hello, Anna. I love our Syrian brothers and sisters. I know we have a lot of refugees. Again, Damon Bat had disclaimer: we have too many refugees. We have to find a way to, I guess, relocate a lot of them, if not most of them, in a humane way, in a human, humane, <clears throat> correct way. Okay, those that can stay, it is our duty as Arabs, as their neighbors, to. Help them out, man. You know what I mean? If we're at war and we need to go to Syria, I'm sure they would host us. It depends, okay? It's complicated. Again, too many refugees. We have like 3 million Syrian refugees. We're a country of 6 million people. You can't just add half of our population in refugees and expect it to be okay. It's not. It's, it's, it's a bad situation and it's getting worse. And it's particularly bad for the refugees. It's way worse for them than it is for, for you, trust me. And you got European countries, you have the United States who refuse to take in any of these refugees. It's fucked up. It's inhumane. It sucks for the Syrian refugees and it sucks for us, Kalibnain, because we're a small, poor country that can't handle its own citizens, let alone 3 million refugees. Good? All good? Okay. Having said all of that... Uh, the Lebanese government has been uh, focused lately, in, like, over the past month, at turning the Lebanese people against the refugees and trying to distract everyone by just talking about the refugee problem and that they're causing all of your, uh, you know, your heartache and not them. And people are falling for it. There was a, a fountain, uh, the fountain of Samir Kassir, be downtown, that a few Syrian kids were jumping and swimming. They emptied the whole fucking fountain. Some people are having a picnic. وهاي المطار عنا صار منطقة سياحية للسوريين هذا المطار مطار رفيع الحرير الدولي الجنينات تبعيتها صارت للسوريين بيجوا بيعملوا مشاوي بيقضوا الويكند هون اني وعائلتهم بلدية الخبيري نايمة بس عم تشرب بطاطا يعني برو انا ما عم بفهم يعني الجنينة شو بتعمل فيها إذا yeah, مش fucking finally someone making use of that space إذا مش يعني إذا مش picnic أو شيء شو بدك يعمل يعني bro gardens exist for that bro هون عنا so كارلا حدا tweeted out this video she said هلا صار دور مطار بيروت الدولي عودتهم واجب وطني ولينا منزل who always has these great takes who constantly like shits on people with their awesome uh, uh, quote tweets she says, fascists complaining that tourists might get turned off if they arrive and see Syrians picnicking near the airport. Darlings, tourists arrive to an airport with no AC, two customs guys dealing with 400 people and drive into a lightless landscape of potholes. Picnics aren't the problem. Not only that, when you step off the plane, bro, you smell the stench of garbage. As soon as you land and you get out of that plane, there is a literal smell, bro. All the stink, all the trash, all the garbage. You get a nice whiff of it. 
So, bro, gardens are made, public spaces are made for people to play, to play football, do a picnic. Whatever the fuck, let people do what they want. It doesn't matter if they're Syrian or Lebanese. Would you have complained? Would you have been okay with it? Yani, Anjad people don't know how to how to how to uh, behave themselves around public spaces. We have no infrastructure for the stuff. Is that? Oh no, a good like hey the shoot on point best chaye. It's a fucking garden. So this has nothing to do with the refugee crisis. What is she? It's just fucking stupidity, ignorance, and racism. That is my opinion. They look like they're having a yeah. They look like they they're having them. a great time. Of course. Honestly. Why not? <laughs> it's let the, very hick and heartwarming. Like the kids that were swimming with jumping, it was adorable. They were just having a good time. These people are just having a picnic, bro. Like, Anyways, I'm in Jamaat. I'm in Chad GPT. How to solve the Syrian refugee crisis. And it gave me a very thoughtful response. It said, first, it said, As an AI language model, I do not have personal opinions, but here are some possible solutions to the Syrian refugee crisis in Lebanon. One increase international aid. for each kid Promote resettlement programs, which is definitely that is very true. You know, we want to try to resettle them humanely. You know, uh, foster collaboration between the UNHCR and Lebanese government. Focus on education, and five prevent the growing xenophobia. I think I think these are you can there's more details you guys can read them pause if you want the video and read them I'm not gonna read all of these but so no I think these are good recommendations and uh, Halaki the Jad GPT is just stealing this from you know other think tanks and stuff but so anyways and that's not all folks just a quick update there is a bunch of French people here's a tweet from uh, MTV uh, news station House of Hisham Haddad show Basuar Tadahura Fiberis Rafdan Libaka El Nazihin Fi Lubnan so you got a bunch of basically boomers. Okay, look at this guy. Boomer, boomer. Everybody here's a boomer. Protesting in France to get rid of the Syrians. Don't you guys have something better to do in France? <laughs> look at this other boomer. More boomers. You got more boomers? More boomers. Look at this look at this fucking guy over here. Look at this boomer with no neck and goblin ears. Again, guys, you're in France. Think of something else. Go enjoy your life. Okay? It's not that trust me. Anjad. It's again the fact that they're all boomers tells you everything you need to know, you know, about uh, about this outrage. Uh, folks, John the Kidman John. You know the first John the Kidman John video we ever reacted to, if I'm not mistaken, was his birthday video, because I've had someone sent me this or I found this and I was like, this is the weirdest, funniest. Let's just watch a little bit of it. Hello, hello, hello. It's my birthday. Say hi, mom. Hi. Bye, sir. Okay, we're gonna blow my cake. Wow, beautiful. Thank you, my dad. I'm I was like, this, I was like, this is the weirdest. I will the Hey, this was like the first time. Come on, this mom is come on. so cute. I love the parents. The parents are, uh, they're adorable. It's not lighting. Mom, where do you go? Mom, where do you go? Yala, come here, mom. Yala, sing. Yes. Sing for me, Allah. Sing for me, Allah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to Hobi. Hobi. Cheers, mom. Cheers. I gotta hit him up. Like, I gotta, I gotta fix our relationship. Wow, this tasty. Anyways, this was like a weird, absurd, crazy video. Well, folks, John just celebrated another birthday, okay? How old is he? He said he was 32, 31. He's now one year older. He, he dropped a new birthday video one year later, okay? So it's only right that we watch and react to this as well. Let's see. Hello, guys. It's my birthday today. This time the candles are already on. Not yet. So he's my not going to waste the 40 seconds. Hello. You will sing for me? Yeah. Happy birthday yeah. to you. Happy birthday. They're so cute. Oh, it's your hello. Look at John. He's a That's sweet so man. Adorable. It's always good to love and take care of your parents. And he looks like a good son. You know what I mean? Don't. Hey, whoa. You're trying to kill me now, John. I will kill people with this. No, John, no. <laughs> Keep your cool. Yeah, I make a wish. Make wish, honey. Okay. Hey, Nadalik. I hope your wishes come true, yeah, John. 
Thank you, mom. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They are. They are. They're good people. Thank you. Bye, guys. We love you. We miss you. We're not going to play that other video. Let's keep it simple. Let's keep it love. It's all love. The birthday video, I think it was the third video we watched. The first one was dating advice. Was it? It was. It was in those. It was in that first batch for sure. Dating advice part one. Dating advice part two. Birthday. Ah, is a hake okay, but no, you know. We're very close. Speaking of parents, mothers, uh, mothers who love their sons. Honey, Chef Hassan, the Ayla Nefse with this video. I'm talking about boneless sandwich. That's a good Yeah, no, it's a, it's a creative segue. I was segue. trying to connect the dots, but then it The segue will make sense in a second, folks. Moms that love their sons, who have a show for my video. وجا زبون ولا هذيك المرة أكلت بونلس نسيت أكلات أمي كلهم يعني بدك شي شي أقوى من البونلس بدك تطمني يا قلت له مالك غير زنجر كورنر لتنسيك حليبات أمك يعني تنسى تنسى الشيء اللي رضعته المهم المهم هون شاف منظر مزلقة هنا وشافت شيدر كيف تنزل مزومة على الساندويش وأهم شيء شفنا لكم ريبة شاف منظر ما أول أي كان فكر بعد هلا إذا أمي عم بتردع ابنها واحد عمره شي 30 سنة كمان. That's all I remember. All I can think about is some guy with a beard fucking drinking breast milk. هلا لا يتنفس برو. شو هيدا يا 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 شف حسين. Speaking of disgusting things, oh I forgot this was one of the main topics. Middle East Airlines, folks. Shit's going crazy on Middle East Airlines videos. وصور عم يطلعوا في دود بالأكل. What's going on? شو صاير? أولا نو. What are your what, how do you feel about traveling? Do you like traveling? Do you enjoy yeah, traveling? Yeah, I love traveling. You do? Mm -hmm. Do you like like the airplane, airport experience, or just going to a new country? The process uh, of traveling, how do you feel about it? The airplane experience, I don't like. Then, I know, every time I've been on a plane, I've been like really fucking tired. It's not comfortable to mm. sleep. Or, like the food is horrible. Or, okay. It's bad. Yeah, it's not a pleasant experience, but I like going to other countries. But some no shoes. How tiring? You go to Europe and stuff usually? La la la. I know. Hatta like, like even Turkey, for example. But the name, but the name on an airplane. I most. I know. I used to live in the states, so most of my flights have always been like when home to France and then France to the states. So I know my trips have always been like 14, 15, 16 hour trips. I hate traveling, guys. I know. Be very honest with you guys. I hate traveling. I don't even like going to new countries. If I'm going to a country that's worse than Lebanon. I'm not interested. Mm. I'm not interested in going to third world countries just because there's a nice couple buildings or a couple nice uh, monuments. I don't give a fuck, man. I ain't going there trying to understand the culture, the, the language. It smells like ass. No offense. Worse than here, I'm not going. I want to go to better places. You know what I mean? On a plus, since I have to go visit my family that's in the States, I don't get that much time to travel. So most of the time, I probably end up going to the States, which I don't mind. There's everything I want there. There's shopping. It's good, you know what I mean? I ain't going to no goddamn jungle. Anyways, uh, Middle East Airlines, here's a tweet. So it says, Hello, we'll show you the first one. So uh, this is, let's watch the video. This is a first class ticket, I think. Check this out, business class. It says, unappetizing surprise, live worm found in business class meal on MEA Air Liban flight. Disappointing response and customer service leaves much to be desired. They gave him some nuts. Look at that. Fucking makes my skin crawl. Business class. This is my worst fear. Yeah, that's pretty gross. I mean, look at that. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, that's unforgivable. That is unforgivable, man. And again, business business class, like how much does a business class but ticket cost? But then, how do you know what they're doing? There's obviously something wrong. I know, I don't have to do Oh uh, yeah. I know I read I know they didn't do anything. Look, there's another tweet this one look there's it's a fucking it's an Arabic and it's very long. بس انه بحياتي ما نزلت بوست اساءة لحدا او لمطعم او لشركة بس الموضوع ما بيمرق وما بينسكت عنه. يوم الجمعة uh, April 28th جينا من بيروت على الرياض على طيران ميدل ايست. أول ما فتحت الفواكه ما صدقت لونهم uh, whatever لونهم غلط. آه لهون وصلته دودة بالأكل ولما قلت لهم قال يا مدام ممكن بزرة الفواكة أو دودة عن جد لازم تكونوا أوكي okay, whatever here's the photo 
As you guys can see, it's another one of those worms. It's in the orange. It's like a slice of orange. Fucking disgusting. It's gross. I don't know what she's... She put a picture of a kid. I don't know why she put a picture of the kid, but blocked their face. Anyways, this is definitely gross and, and unforgivable. Whether you're in first class, business class, you know, it doesn't matter. No one should be eating uh, bugs unless, uh, you know, that's what they signed up for. So that is pretty unless they want unless they ordered that unless they want that <laughs> someone else I found this tweet come in uh, uh, I'm gonna read the translate it's a German tweet I'm gonna read the translation it says not sure MEA's Airbus was hit over Beirut previously an Aegean Airlines plane so people are flying in these planes there's like a missing panel and there's like a hole in the plane I didn't really understand this was him no. The state of Middle East Airlines, folks, isn't great. With Middle East Airlines, like they're they're making their tickets more expensive. Had the food thing, but Zakir, Anna, like five or six, maybe seven years ago, there was a huge controversy that with Zakir bil Matar, the food storage was fucked up. I remember that. I tried to find something mal eat, but I remember like five or six years ago there was a huge controversy about the Matar. They found like spoiled chicken, tons of that shit, like fucked up chicken so i don't think this is new for middle east airlines i just think people yeah and it, it, the news pops up people talk about it then it goes away for a while then something other else happens but yeah i don't trust i don't trust airline food man and middle east airlines like i i, I don't fly middle east honestly whenever i can avoid it i i because i find cheaper options that, that are not middle east. way cheaper so yeah it's not even not only this not only is middle east going through like dude but like hey they wouldn't make it come in i a tweet or video yeah this is a tweet from Stephanie. So today my friends got this cake from Wooden Bakery in Ash. So here's the video. Look at the mold. This cake is covered in mold. Okay. That's so fucked up, man. It's disgusting. <laughs> I love the mom in the back. That's <laughs> my grandmother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, you can't trust anything you buy in this country, folks. Anjad, nothing you buy. Yani That's crazy. Anjad. Okay, folks, now we got, we got a new classic video on our hands. I don't know where this came from. This is an account. I think they go, they ask people in restaurants to say stuff or like, the, the, this, just, this is just beautiful. <laughs> we need it as a, as a sound drop, as a sound bite. <laughs> We stop it there. It's amazing, bro. This kid's a legend. One more time. <laughs> Adorable child, please don't come after us. Parents, family, you know. We're taking it as an innocent joke. Adorable child. I want to be like, That's what we're going to do. Okay, TikTok, like TikTok, uh, Twitter has been a really good source for topics. I would say lately, my body, I really like Twitter. I hate getting stuff from there. It's 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 shitty to get stuff, but so no, the topics are interesting. It's like this nose job. Now look, we're gonna mute the video. Twitter had a lot to say about this, so first let's see this before and after video. We have this young girl. I don't know where she's from. Okay, Middle Eastern, South Asian, my body. One, two, three. And boom. I hope. Okay, holy shit, though. Now, that is a freaky kind of nose. Like, kind of compared to Red Skull. If you guys have seen the movie from the Marvel Universe, this is Red Skull, famous Captain America villain. I, I think he transformed this woman into Red Skull. But this is not what we're talking about. And like, this is half her face is covered. Maybe the nose actually looks good without the, all of this stuff. Well, nothing to do with it. Twitter had a debate, though. Like, should people with big Middle Eastern noses, you know, get plastic surgery because to them it's this is part of your ethnicity it's part of your identity so why would someone uh kind of get a surgery like this let's just read some of the tweets just to give you guys an idea of what people are saying 
Karma is saying, imagine getting rid of your unique ethnic features for the sake of fitting in with the current beauty standards. M Miriam S. says, the plastic noses look ugly and so obvious now, lol. Ethnic noses are so beautiful and hold such significant historical beauty. Really wish some of y'all would realize that. Another tweet uh, from Javenshi says, Not finna sit here and criticize someone that wants plastic surgery. That's their choice, but he fucked her shit up. I kind of like the, that tweet. And the final tweet that we're going to read is, Why people complain so much about her decision of changing her nose? Like, let the girl be happy with what she wants and likes. If she's happy now, that's what matters. Seriously though, I know she had tweets, I know I'm not gonna criticize, but I know they fucked up, I know you're criticizing our she telling she, I know she wants it done that way, and preach about ethnicity. Yeah, she look. wants it done, okay, have it done, she's she's very happy. Yeah, let's be, I have a problem with people like, yeah, so you have a beautiful ethnic nose, bro, let's be real. I, might sound, I think that's an ugly nose. Like, I think that is a nose that some people might find is beautiful, but I, I don't want to get canceled. If you have a nose yeah, like that, you, you're you beautiful. You like it. She didn't like it. But that's so no, why yeah, she got it changed. I do think this is kind of an ugly nose. Okay, this is a feature. Yeah, no, she, 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 let's say she's Arab. You're Arab. You're, you're stuck with this nose. She, she doesn't have to be stuck with it just because she's Middle Eastern. And it's not her job to represent her ethnicity and her culture like on her face at all times. She doesn't want the nose. She wants another nose. Whatever you think of the result, that is, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not an expert. That is up to you. That is personal taste and opinions. But it's just because someone comes from a certain ethnicity where they want to change something that they're not happy with, let them change it. Look, I'm not the biggest fan of plastic surgery. I'm not like out there and uh, trying to promote plastic surgery. I don't want people to get just plastic surgery willy-nilly. Because if it's something that's really going to make you feel better, and if she's really unhappy with that nose... Let her change it. You know what I mean? Me saying that I find this nose ugly came in as super irrelevant. Like, who gives a fuck? I was just trying to be like, if I had her nose, I might have wanted to change it as well. You know what I mean? People might think my nose is horrible. I have a big kind of nose. People might think that's disgusting. I have a big nose, but no. I, know, uh, I, I don't think so. You, have a, you don't have a big nose. That's not a big... You don't have her I nose. Don't, I don't... I, I have this. Yeah, but yeah. it's straight still. You know, kind of. My life. It's not that. Yeah, I get, why, know, I get why, why she had to do it. You know what I mean? But no... Again, yeah, some people might think you have a hideous nose. Who <laughs> knows? You know what I mean? Who, oh, who knows? <laughs> who knows about your nose? But so no, yeah, leave her alone, man. But come in, like when a whole, like speaking of beauty standards, when a whole community is pushing our our and holy beauty standards, you can't blame this person for caving in uh, into those. Yeah, you have yeah, to blame of course. The community. Yeah, blame society. Don't blame this young girl. And like the people tweeting like, oh, look at her changing her nose. It's like, you, you probably have like a nice nose. Like, if you're comfortable with your nose, that's good. <laughs> I'm happy you know? for yeah, you. Yeah, if you feel confident about how you look, that doesn't mean someone else does. Yeah, and just leave her alone. My bad. If you're stupid, stupid. But so no, yeah, it does kind of look, it does look a little bit uh, red skullish. I'm not going to lie. You know? Uh, Naji Zakaria, folks. A, a fan <laughs> favorite. Honey, he came with a banger though. I'm not a banger this week. It's three... Minute and 25 seconds, I'm back on chicken burgers. And I still don't like him and what he hit the cat. Really? I, I can't tolerate that. He didn't really... He, well, he, didn't he hit, hit the fucking he cat. He didn't hit the cat. He did hit the cat. Smile, smile. When I say, my son is coming out of his son, my son and my son. Cool glasses. Very nice. When I say, my son is coming out of his son, my son is coming out of his son, chicken burger, I say, you're coming out of your son. I don't want to open your son, I don't want to open your son. I don't want to open your son. On the side, happy. Chicken burger. على قد قطع البرجر يعني صار عندنا 12 قطعه برجر 
ناش قطعة برجر كيف تبي يقولها؟ إذا واحدة 300,000 ليرة يا جماعة 300,000 ليرة 300 ب 12 ضربهم يعني 3 مليون ونص تقريبا ضيعتني كثير بالمال بدك في الفتن يا جماعة ضيعتنا قلنا هول 2 دولار 90 2 دولار 90 يعني وات از ذا دانس قديش 2 دولار 90 290,000 اعتبروا اوكي 290,000 290 هول 6 ب 120 116 و 116 230 تقريبا 230 صاروا 500 بعدنا دون 600000 ليره 12 برجر برجر 12 يا جماعه كلها شفتها ب 6000 ليره برجر جست لايك نمبرز عم بفوتوا يعني يا جماعه ما بينحكى فيهم هو ما بينحكى فيهم الخس تفاصيل ملعقه مايونيز من هون بصله بندوره شويه بطاطا الفكرة يا جماعة منا بخل انتبهوا منا بخل تاكل انت وسليلتك بكلفة اوفر بكثير هلا هي منا بخل بس وقت تضيع بتنزل تيك توك فيديوز عم بتبهدل العالم ميبي فيها شوية بخل يا ناجي which is fine a lot of people are frugal يعني مش غلط الواحد يكون بخيل اذا if you need to صح بس انه يمكن يمكن فيها شوية بخل اور نو شبرق هو وعائلته ويسفروا لي شموا الهوا وانا لا لا انا بوفر شو في وفر وما بدخل عليهم ابدا لا اوكي وبسافر انا ما بوفروا بسافر فيهم يلا لنحضر يا جماعه ليش عندنا على النار هلا مثل ما قلنا ليك ذا شورتس برجر اي لاف ذا كومبو هيز ويرنج لايك ا سويتر فيست اند ا لونج سليف شيرت وذ لايك ذا شورتست شورتس اي ايفر سين مش عارف حيبينوا فخاد بالفيديو لك شو هالفخاد يا يا ناجي زكريا شو السكس اللي قيمتهم بالمطاعم 3 مليون 3 مليون ونص قلنا كلفتهم عندي بحدود ال 600000 ليره يعني موقفه البرجر الوحده تقريبا بحدود ال 60000 ليره مثل العادي يا جماعه البرجر اه لك ذكاء ذكاء عم بعمله مثل العادي بيشبع جبل هلا بيشبع لبسينة بيشبع لبسينة هلا شو هالكينج بس الناجي زكريا انا شهينة على تشيكن برجر هلا صراحة كمان شهينة على تشيكن برجر شو بعد عنا يلا انت كل شيء عم بيشهيك اي ثينك يو جاست هانجري اي ام اي ام هاد هاد لانش اورز اجو وتاخرنا تنبلش سو هلا عنا بعد فيديوين يا جماعة وبنحل عنكم زياد برجي وديع الشيخ لكن بلا ريس كان فاني انا انا تشيكت فور كوبي رايت سو فاني بس بيبل ار فريكينج اوت اوكي بيبل ار كالينج ذس كرينج اند ديسكاستينج انا زياد كرينج اند ديسكاستينج زياد برجي بس بدنا نعطيه تحيه لانه هو لحاله السينمات اللبنانيه كانوا سكروا من سنتين اذا ما كانوا الافلام زياد برجي يا اي وش ذي ديد عن جد كلنا بس هيز كيبينج بيبل امبلويد يعني زياد برجيز موفيز لحال هلا شفت سينما او بير سبوت شوي فيت ار هايرينج ان اشر This usher would not have a job without Ziad Burji movies. <laughs> so let's watch him and uh, Shus Maida Wadiya Sheikh. <laughs> People are basically calling the, calling them gay. Shubad the Elkunyan. Nah, we love the gay community. We ain't got no problem with the gays. If Ziad Burji and Wadiya Sheikh look, Wadiya Sheikh's hand on his thigh. And they're very lovey dovey. Like, I mean, I like the Arab, the Shabab, the Lebanese, a lot. I mean, lovey dovey. Yeah, they're very touchy. They're we're very touchy. We love to bounce and happy. Now, here, I'm going to give him a dinner. While the Eid, the Fakhr. No, I'm going to give him a dinner. That's very intimate. While there's face to face, nose to nose contact, a shway, nose to cheek. Look, if they're into each other, let them do it, bro. Hello, power couple, Lebanon. Veneer power couple coming. Look at this power of the veneers on Wadi Al Sheikh. Look, guys, I think this is, yeah, and of course, it could qualify as pretty gay, yeah, and but like, I don't think any of these guys are gay. If they're gay, we love you, and does I think I like them more if they're gay. You know what I mean? Because I don't like Ziad Burji or Wadi Al Sheikh, but if they were gay, I'm like, oh, that's interesting now. That's a cool fun fact. Anyways, so Twitter went crazy, cringe, you disgusting. It is kind of gross, but no, it's not. Pass the truth. She here can be rikis, yeah. Like all night, a had. When? That for rikis. No. They all point at the camera and they have a hat that says rikis, or they're like holding a drink, or like. No. I hate it when people point at the camera. 
<laughs> I hate that shit. Rikis, look it up. It's What's a, that? When? Rikis, my wife is like a thing at a mountain. But they could be Rikis with <laughs> two Ks. Eh, eh, معروف كتير هيك party وجبل وريكيز. عنده جو كتير particular. Jabal people. Our final video, folks. Hey, to the pinata lady. ما بتذكر هو شو كيف يلا we have her. Where is the pinata lady? You don't remember the video. بلا بس ما بتذكر. I don't even remember. I said I think I said downloaded but I didn't yeah. add it to the list. ما بتذكر. Oh. تسألوني إذا كيف طلع مصاري من تيك توك؟ إيه فينا نطلع مصاري من تيك توك بس نعرف كيف نطلع. يعني أنا عندي موهبة بتسلى وقت فراغي بعمل بينياتا هو هني ليه رح اقول لكم عملت هو البينياتا؟ اوه شي جات بيج اس كاك تو عملته انا عملت فيديو واحد على التيك توك بظرف شهرين بعت 231 بينياتا 231 بينياتا بعت وبعدنا عم بيع منه مشان هيك التيك توك بيطلع مصاري مش انه بعمل شيء ما بيطلع لاف يو Look, she got big ass dongs wearing uh, way, papillon I thongs, used to boobs. See her on TikTok when I mean, like before the the erotic pinata. Does she have more erotic pinata uh, TikToks? We well, need to look into uh, this that. This is the first one I see, but she has other TikToks. Like she's very talented. She paints. Uh, she does to, crafts. We need to go to her account and do a study on the the pinata <laughs> business. We come in a hadika, the crazy one who killed the girl at the gym, and folks uh, with. This could this might be one of the longer episodes we've done. I don't know. God bless you for watching and sticking with us. This was insane. It was insane. Uh, so much to, to talk about. Let's just a, a second to thank El Jeje, new blonde patron and melting around our superhero patron for coming back and thanking some other patrons like Enzo S, Mark Iwan, Jad Al Haj, uh, Michelle Isa, superhero patrons like Fadi Muerzil, Bukerzil, Ned, Mo Kabara, Joito, and our got your patrons Jessica and Rifat Fakih and Burgery. Folks, remember it is your last chance to join our Patreon before we shoot the Medi documentary. We need all the funds we can get to make it the best documentary ever. Okay, I'm gonna have to feed people for three days. Help me! Uh, uh, like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, become a Do Not Warrior. Don't forget to buy our Stirred Not Shaken special edition Do Not Worry cocktail from Stirred Not Shaken's Instagram page. You can find the link down in the description every bottle you buy helps support the podcast and as always folks do not